Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Sergeant, this is going side. to have to wait, Report Gordon. Top side, motor pool, immediately. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Yeah, cut that shit out, will ya? Try hitting Control-Alt-Delete. Quit looking over my shoulder, you're making me uncomfortable. Hey, it's happening! Cut it what out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct! Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Give me in the trouble? Bartok! Bartok, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, copy. Damn, Gordon. Dr. Freeman. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Man, you're an asshole when you're drunk. My god, what are you doing? Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Sergeant Dahlgren, report to Topside, Checkpoint Bravo. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Can this wait? Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. At least try to maintain decorum, Freeman. Please. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. You're insane. Completely insane. Stop this very instant. They don't just give any old riffraff off the street the honor of wearing that lab coat, Gordon. For Pete's sake! I don't think my pacemaker can handle any more of this. Freeman, please. Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? Freeman, please. Agent Tunison, report to Topside Tactical. 
you forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Control yourself, Gordon. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Freeman, please. For Pete's sake! My god, what are you doing? Morning, champ. Hello. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Jeez, what has gotten into you today, Gordon? Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? For Pete's sake! <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. <laughs>